Happy up the was Wednesday, fish keepers. Uh, we're about T minus half an hour from going away, going away, going in to the uh, three Let's Talk Aquariums podcast today with our special guest Rebecca Bentley. We're doing a listener revisited topic when it comes to tropical fish food. I just thought you might want to join me for my uh, process that I go through before I get into the live stream. So uh, let's run through that before we actually get on to what we're going to do today. It's going to sound weird, it's going to sound stupid, but I uh, turn my modem on and off. I have a uh, ridiculous amount of issues with the internet. It seems to be worse on Wednesdays and Fridays when we do the live streams. So first thing I do when I walk in the door is I flick the internet off uh, for a few minutes. It's been off for a couple of minutes now, so we're going to turn that bad boy back on again. <coughs> Done. Next, we get into the coffee machine and get that moving as we do that. As that's happening, I still my water bottle. But, you see, that's not for me to drink. Because this is a couple of pumps. In a true cam fashion, I haven't actually got my cup ready. Where are we? Up the was, baby! So literally, you're just coming with me making a coffee at the right of the second. Back on the machine. We push the buttons. Hey, work first time, good times. So anyway, a bottle of water. Always without fail. I don't know why. So up, up this aquarium. It normally takes two bottles. So we'll do little little little. Cool, coffee's being made. More water. More water! More energy! More whatever the rest of that saying is. And yeah, in we go. Takes two bottles of water every week. So that's that part of my morning routine for doing my live streams done. Coffee's getting close. This bottle of water is in turn for me. So I set this up. I hope this is really thrilling and riveting. I've now got water ready for the live stream. Grab my diary, put it in here so if I need to write notes, I can write notes. Next part done. Chair, not sitting here right now. I'm not gonna do that with one hand. I'm gonna roll my chair from right there to there. Okay, this is now part for the uh, time, part, time, time, time for the algorithm engager. This is me blatantly asking you to do me a favor by liking this video and answering this question to get more engagement so the algorithm picks it up so more people see the Planet Friday copy date, which is our live stream. Look at fish. Which is our live stream that we do every week with special guests from around the world. Two part question. If you're a lurker on here, you watch the videos and you don't comment or you just like the video, why don't you answer the question? That's my question for you. And if you can answer me also, even just say hello. That's fantastic. G'day mate. I'm from XYZ in the world. I keep this fish. That works, that's cool. But the actual question for the algorithm engager for the people that like to play this game at home, my question is, on the Fanatics Friday date, is there any guests that you would like to see us try and engage with and get them on for you? Is there any organizations or groups that you want to see us try and get onto the Fanatics Friday coffee date? We do this for you guys. We love the idea of uh, sharing knowledge from one person to another person via this concept by the way we're doing it. So there is there anybody that you'd like to see on the Fanatics Friday coffee date, or at least us try and get them. Is there any group that you'd like to see us get on? Anything like that, it doesn't matter how big they are, how small they are, as long as they're interested in keeping fish and keeping the aquariums, that's basically the only criteria for this. Cool, that's my question. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Seats in. Coffee's made, time to get all the equipment out and running. Uh, flip the light, that light goes on. I come out here, I turn this light off. This way there's less reflections when we're doing our recording. Shut the door, time to get all the equipment out. Laptop's plugged in, camera's plugged in, microphone's plugged in. Time to jump on the socials, do a bit of sharing, get that happening. Fingers crossed the reset of the internet has done its job. We jump on to our shared Trello. 
Uh, this is where we basically store our information, work out what's going on. We've done this one, we've done this one. I'm now running down what next week's topic is, which is Frontoza. We will talk about that during the podcast. So we tick that one off, and I'm just going to delete these two while we're here. I've got a bit of a, uh, a structure when it comes to it. A uh, topic, a follow-up, a topic, a list of topic, a topic, a follow-up, a topic, a list of topic, a follow-up, blah, blah. If there's anything you want to see the three Let's Talk Aquariums talk about, let us know and we'll chuck it onto our list of things to do. Surprise, surprise, I've nailed my first coffee. It didn't last very long. Uh, I need to make another one before we get going because uh, life without coffee is not good life. I don't know why, but part of my pre-game routine, every time we do a live stream, we put some deodorant on. I don't know why, it's not like anyone can smell me while I'm sitting in my office doing it, but I just figure that I should, so this is the next thing I do, getting the, the nerves down, getting ready to rock and roll. Actually, that might have started because I stand here making a coffee and the deodorant sits right at eye level, so that might have just been a thing that sort of happened, and now it's just part of the, I've got to do it, superstitious type of, type of vibe. Anyway, coffee's nearly done. So we're nearly ready to get into the live stream. This is the point in the day where we always ask Ryan to wave. So come on Ryan, give us a wave Ryan. And Rebecca, give us a wave. And Matt, give us a wave. Oh my god, Ryan must be sick, he's waving straight yeah, away. Easy. Whoa, that's whoa. Easy. All right. He's trying to be well behaved. He's he is, well -behaved. he is. Yes. That was great fun. It was great to have Rebecca on. Uh, someone actually knew what she was talking about. Not us three freaking idiots. Uh, check out the podcast, getting your chance to win a voucher from your local fish shop, open globally, uh, watch the replay on YouTube, and then comment in either the YouTube description or the Facebook page what the code word was, uh, and while you're at it, maybe subscribe to both the YouTube and the Facebook. Just a wee hint, the code word might be something to do with finding somebody, or finding one of the idiots, something maybe check it out watch it leave a comment below on facebook or on youtube right let's get on with the day old mate silver dollar is still hanging on in there uh, more water changes today trying to keep this water as clean as humanly possible uh, he's just hanging in there for now we'll just keep trying keep on tracking should have plant orders arrived today, which means that'll be priority. We'll, we'll get some plant orders out the door, get everyone's orders fulfilled. Happy days. Thank you very much for everybody who shops with us. Uh, other than that, we're going to be operation a clean up out the back here. Uh, so after reading through some of the comments I left on Facebook yesterday, I thought, some of the comments that were left on Facebook yesterday, I thought, what better way to do this than just start being brutal to start with. So I'm just going to literally dump any rubbish, get rid of rubbish. So for example, I've kind of got these bags hanging around. I figure one day I'll use, but if I just get rid of these plastic bags, as an example, um, some plastic containers there, they're not gonna, you know, it's a polystyrene. Just rubbish, 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 rubbish. Little bits around there. Get rid of that. That sort of eliminates that part of it. And then from there, I will then get a bit brutal and then I'll sort a bit more. I think I'll start in like a section, do this section, get that rocking, do this section, get that rocking, do this section, get this rocking. Kind of like how I do work my water changes, I do like that part and then I do that part and then I do that part and then I do that part, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at for that. Uh, hopefully it makes for an interesting day. It may, it may not, we'll see how we go, but that is the plan. We've got to get this uh, out the back here, uh, crank it along, get it nice and tidy, get it all into usable and then we'll move along from there. I've just been for a bit of a walk. Um, I like to go for a walk after we do the podcast. Uh, just gives me a little bit of time to decompress and think about life and whatnot. Anyway, I just thought I'd show in here while we're doing it. Uh, I went for a bit of a walk and got deep into thought, as you do. I was talking about this before, but like I kind of see this business, the fish room, as a bit of a triangle. There's three aspects to it. Um, there's like the fish keeping side of it. There's the social media side of it. Um, and then there's like the business side of it and for the longest time now I've thought I can always nail two of the three but I can never nail the three at the same time so I can be nailing the business side of it and the social media side of it but the fish keeping wanes off or I'll get the fish keeping and the social media but the business side of it wanes off like they just can't quite get the balance of three 
Uh, recently, I feel like I'm down to one element only at a time. I'm, I'm not quite nailing the business side of it, um, but I think I'm nailing, we're doing pretty well on the social media side of it, and then fish keeping sort of dropping down a little bit. And I just can't quite get that balance. Um, so I think it's just a little bit of ramp, just after I've sort of been for a walk and clearing my mind a little bit. But I kind of feel like that's happening at the moment. And I think like part of the back room being so messy is the contributor to that. Um, part of the Popeye with that fish is a little bit of a contributor to that as well. Um, we're growing quite nicely here on YouTube, but recently I've been pretty lackluster on Facebook, which is where we've always been pretty strong on, and I've been a bit, uh, a bit average on that recently, so even the extra elements of my triangle isn't quite being nailed at the moment, so uh, I've got a bit of a deep dive over the next few days and think about stuff, look at how I can nominate my time a little bit better even that possibly means doing more hours and where I can simplify stuff and again part of that I think is going to be having a nice decent working environment out the back here because it's uh, pretty average but anyway thank you for coming to my TED talk I appreciate you allowing me just to have a wee rant a little bit of verbal spew a bit of verbal diarrhea so it works uh, hopefully when I open this door here we'll have a bag or a box of plants let's do it together eh get the uh, patented Door unlocked. Rick roller up. One, two, three. Do we have plants? Ah, oh, we've got one box. One of the three ain't bad. Still early. We might get some more. At least we'll be able to get some orders out the door. Not a great start to this campaign. Uh, my rubbish bin is full. It is rubbish day, and I don't have any tags to get it emptied. Adding to that. My rubbish bin here it is also full, just about. Yeah, not a good start. On the agenda, get some rubbish bin tags tomorrow. Sun's out, sign's out, let's do this. It's at 11 in the a.m. We're open. Crack on. Not really what I wanted to see while doing my rounds. Unfortunately, these things happen. Take this one out, and another one. This one clearly got butchered overnight by the plecos in here. Uh, that's the only lamp I had, just sort of came with a whole bunch of tanks that I got. Uh, two for the morning. Hey, get out of it. Got a few orders packed of what we could do. Uh, nothing else has arrived, which means nothing is going to arrive today. Uh, which means hopefully it's here tomorrow so we can finish the other orders tomorrow. Uh, I've been just jiving a bit to some Mariah Carey, cranking up with a daydream, and all it's wanted me to do is throw on my Christmas list. Pretty sure as soon as I finish listening to this Mariah Carey album, I'm straight on to Cam's Christmas playlist, because why not? And that will help me get in a good mood to conquer all of this, which is what I'm doing right now. Why now I think we all kind of know I'm not a massive better person. But holy heck, that is a beautiful fish. That is so stupidly cool. If you're interested in this little fish, uh, it's on the website, thefishroom.co.nz under assorted better from him. I think they're $24.99 or $29.99, I can't quite remember. But holy heck, that is a pretty fish. Don't expect it to last all that long in this shop now that I've done a wee video on it. I might be wrong, of course. It's quite deep in the video, people might not actually watch by here to hear, but yeah, it's a nice looking fish. Old mate seems to be getting worse here. Uh, I don't know how much longer I can hold out. Um, part of me goes one more day, it might it might be the day we turn. The other part of me goes, it looks like it's in a lot of pain. And I don't think this is the right thing to be doing. I'm not sure just at this moment. Hang in there, old buddy. Hang in there. Made a start. Made a start. Started in through here. Basically got to this point here. We're going okay. Ignoring that point there. But we're going okay through here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm just going to get through this bit through here. That's tomorrow's job through here small steps 
Oh, and I guess in through here will include this bit here. So this little bit here, that's tomorrow. And I've had a fantastic idea that's come from some of the comments on the Facebook question. Someone's like, be ruthless, have a big uh, garage sale sort of thing. I can't be bothered sorting all this out. So what I might just do is dump all of this stuff into the shop on the shelves and just write offers. 37 cents for a hang-on back filter. Bang, you bought it. $750 for a 23-watt heater. Bang, you bought it. That's what I'm thinking. Good idea, bad idea. I think it'll be a working idea. It means I don't have to go through as much. Just put it out there and say, make an offer, just like a proper garage sale. See what happens. I'm going to roll with that. I think I'm going to roll with that. So tomorrow, some of the stuff out here will go out there. I'm telling myself this now. It's probably not going to happen because, like, hoarding aquarium stuff is like what you do with aquarium stuff. So we'll see how we go. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but over the last couple of weeks, this sponge for the uh, internal filter just always seems to be out of this little slot there. So the other day I saw the Cynodontist going in and out of it. I was like, oh, I wonder if they're spawning. Um, but nothing really came of that. Although I didn't actually check for eggs. Anyway, I don't know why it's been doing this, but it has been doing this. I'm just going to put this back, hook this back on these awesome this you know, moving media filters. So we'll put that in. That'll be a little bit of maintenance done in here. Might. I'm about to do it while we're doing it. Look at this. I was like dreading. It's like, oh, this is going to take me hours to do. Little did I know it's going to take me seconds. Watch all this crap come out of it. Yep. And I'm 99% sure that the Cynodontus are chewing on these leaves. Because there was, ah, oh, these roots, sorry. Because they were sweet before the bigger ones came in. And now it's going everywhere. And it actually looks like... It's gnawing, unless the snail in here is still doing it. That could be an option. It could be the blue mistress now. Anyway, now I've made a mess of this, so I probably need to do a water change in here tomorrow as well. Yay me for making up work.